verse 9. Matthew chapter 6, verse 9. Jesus is teaching his disciples. He says this, pray like this. Our Father in heaven. That's what we talked about last week. May your name be kept holy. What does this mean? May your name be kept holy. What does it mean? Anybody got to throw out a guess so I can prove that you're wrong. You know, you know, the pastor says that, like, really, you have an answer. If you're looking for us, you're going to tell me I'm wrong. What does it mean <laughs> to say that your name of God is kept holy? What does it mean? That you hold high. Treat it with respect. Something that you hold high. Something you hold high. The reputation of the name. The reputation of the name. <laughs> Okay, cool thing. Put the text back up there. Leave it up there for a second. Jesus is using, uh, this is for all you nerd student people. Can you write this down? Jesus is using parallelism. It's a, 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 a Hebrew poetic structure where you put things in couplets to emphasize their importance. You, two things that you put, you repeat yourself. So you can bring power, emphasis, and, and, and deeper meaning to and these are parallel. Our Father in heaven, may your name be kept holy. Our Father who is in heaven, may your name be kept holy. See, when you experience the Father, and know that He changes everything about your life, who you are, how you face the world, then you are passionate that that stay that way in your life. Your relationship with the Father, who He is in your life, that it be kept sacred, that it stay that way, that you keep in that intimate relationship and that other people are just as passionate about it as you are, that other people experience it like you do. God, let this thing be real in my life and don't let it get tarnished. And it's this passionate cry. Yet you're not asking God, do this. You know, make me do this. This is a passionate cry. God, keep your name holy. Stay real in my life and the people around you. The word holy is the word sanctified. It's the word set aside for something special. It's the word used for marriage. It means going into a special relationship. We think about holy, we think about the Holy Bible. If you were raised in the church, like you weren't supposed to stack any stuff up, anything on the Bible. And your mom was really, really meticulous about like dusting the Bible. Might never get open, but we have to keep it dusted anyway. <laughs> you know, we may not open it. But make sure nothing gets on top of it. You know, I'm telling you something. The Bible is more holy when it is jagged and the pages are turned and worn because it has a special relationship in your life. Not just sitting over there. Ooh, the holy Bible, we can't touch it. Let your kids open your Bible and read it. Okay? That's what he's saying. Let this, let, let this relationship as God your Father be something special. God, let it stay special in my life. Let it be special in other people's lives. Now I've got to talk to you about something. I want to rant a second here. If you're visiting, occasionally Brian goes on rants. <laughs> what Brian's rant means is that there's something that's irritating Brian and he had needs an outlet and you all are here and most of you are polite enough to not get up and walk out. 